Edmonton's Community and Public Services Committee discussing Tuesday a new response plan to tackle homelessness as the number of people living on city streets has doubled from the start of the pandemic. The city says it takes about two months to get someone out of a tent and into a home and even longer if they have addictions, mental health issues or trauma. The new response plan aims to speed up that process to get people off Edmonton streets. There's a huge gap between on the street and finding housing and that gap is where we lose everyone and it's where we pour a ton of money and so if we can fill that gap with something that works not only do we save lives, but we save dollars. The new response plan would focus on how to connect houseless Edmontonians to supports and lodging. We're talking about 3,000 or less supportive housing units. Uh, it's not, it's done, it doesn't cost, you know, a whole ton of money. But the cost to businesses, cost to healthcare, cost to correctional facilities, cost to policing is much, much higher. It costs less to house a person than to manage houselessness. The city says encampments are largely the result of a shortage of affordable housing and barriers in mental health, addictions and emergency shelter systems. The plan would also look at how to better tackle camp public safety risks of encampments while supporting people who live in them. But for the more than 700 Edmontonians who are currently living unsheltered, advocates stress the city should not clear encampments when there is insufficient housing and shelter space. There's been recent court decisions in British Columbia and Ontario that have held that displacing encampments at a time when there's inadequate accessible shelter space um, is an infringement of people's rights under Section 7 of the Charter to, to uh, security the person. The city says 644 units of supportive housing have been created over the last four years and plans to house 100 people from encampments as a learning exercise, but the final decision will go before City Council. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.